What's going on guys? Welcome to another Off-Road Wednesday. We are sticking a Subaru 9-horse overhead cam engine on the Yerf Dog. The first couple hours of this project, we thought it was just another six and a half, three quarter inch shaft, easy peasy engine swap. Don't listen to us. This was a very tedious build, but an epic one. Yeah. Enjoy the video. So I just bought this generator for like 75 bucks. Yeah. It's supposed to run. I haven't heard it run. I figured I could get the engine and I could probably sell the generator part for like 20 bucks. So I'd have like 55, know, 55 bucks in the engine, right? which is like half the price of a Predator. And we do some mods to it. And uh, we're making Predator power. Yeah. So, and also electric start, which is awesome. Yes. And that means charging system, which means we can do lights, horn, radio, heated seats, whatever we want. Yeah. Uh, I'd like some uh, better tires on them. Yes. Um, these are eight inch rims. We have some tires from our, ooh, from our Go Power Sports stash. We're gonna try to swap over. Ah, I bet you won't, let me see, what, uh, 20 by 10, 18 by nine and a half. Well, let's do this engine swap okay. and see how we feel, see how it performs just kind of out here. All right. Um, and then we can come up with something after. So first things first, we need to see if this Subi is going to run. First time ever Subaru on cars and cameras, right? Yeah. Other than that BRZ that I reviewed like two <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Thanks. Terrible. Doesn't look too filthy. What do you think? Hit it, man. Let's see. It didn't sound bad. Didn't see any smoke either. Dude, I never heard this thing run. I had no idea it was gonna run. It sounds bad really well. It yeah. didn't want to run at first, but yeah. after a while, it sounds really good. One last ride? No? no. Just do it? Do, do you do you want to take it for a ride? I mean, I just want to see how fast it'll go to see if this is any faster. But... Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say like 24 or something. Oh, perfect. no! Let go, let go. Just be easy on the gas, bud. You might have to pat it. I'm gonna say 23. No, 22 was up. Okay. 22 miles per hour. Say 24. You say 24. And it's dead. How about if I drive? You can drive. Okay, thank you. Something wrong with the carburetor. what it was doing at Busco Beach. Yeah. It was doing just like this, going over those bumps and stuff. Yep. Coming in hot, coming in hot. Oh, no. We have dude differences. What? Remember how I told you it sounded like a big block? Yeah. It's because it's a nine horse. Is it? Where do you see that? Right there. Ah, one of the three quarter shaft. Yeah. Yeah, to make things, make the swap easier. Yeah, more just kind of I mean, hold up. the generator's no good. Let's take the engine off and just see what we got. Okay. Ooh. Put this on charge. Yep, see what happens. Yep. And get her out in the open. Yep. We're gonna have to cut the fuel line. We gotta cut this electrical. Oh, man. Oh, heavy. A little heavy. The 
they're hooked up to the case right there, which means you can't get to it from the outside. You gotta get to it from the inside. Yeah. So you have to do this. Oh God, look at that shaft. We'll make it work. I don't see how, but I am, I, I have faith. This goes along with our shirts and stuff. No tools. <laughs> no parts. No plan. No plan. But it should be fun. The shaft on that engine is a funky size. It's not a one inch and it's not a three quarter. Something in between. Probably like seven eighths. Or being a Subaru, I mean, it'd be metric. Yeah, there's no telling. No telling. We can have the shaft machine down. So I guess I'll do some measurements real quick and decide what to do, what to do. What we're gonna end up doing is tearing the Subaru engine completely apart, taking the crankshaft out of it, bring it to a friend's house who has a lathe, and uh, we're gonna turn that crankshaft down to a three quarter shaft. Yep turning the crankshaft down to a three-quarter shaft. So while the engine's apart, we're gonna remove the governor. Um, but before we do any of that, we need to make sure the starter works. Um, oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Yep. Because yep. that's the main reason we, we did those. this in the first place. Yep. If the starter don't work, then I ain't gonna mess with it no more. Are y'all ready for this? She's a powerhouse. Ooh. Ooh. I think it works. Sounds like it. Hit it, man. That's what she said. Doesn't look that dirty. I'd like to see what's up with this handle. See if it returns when I take this thing off or if it still hangs up. Okay. All it did was bunch up. Problem solved. Problem solved. Sweet. That wire unhooked. Put you put it to the side. Uh, might just put it to the side and say forget about it. That, that is a funky, funky that, flywheel. It has our main address on so Anybody want to buy, buy a Volvo wagon? I guess I misunderestimated it. So we just uh, put this screwdriver behind there and we gave it a little whack and it came loose. Boom. Ooh, look, it's got four. There's a critter in there. Ooh, that is a critter. Man, you can be on my three. I'd be honored. Look at us, man. Using power tools, using a table, Using a rag. Using a rag, cleaning stuff. There we go. Yep. Here. Is that a timing chain, dude? Not a timing chain. It is a timing chain. Overhead cam, I didn't even notice that. What do we got here, dude? I thought this was like a Honda clone, dude. Not at all. <laughs> this is probably something completely different. Maybe we ought to check it out. Dear God. Looks pretty good. It doesn't look uh, like it's been burning oil or anything. Good. Oh, yes. I'm sure we're gonna do something different with that exhaust. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you can get to the uh, two. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Take, cut that flange off that muffler and then yes, sir. weld one of the Go Power Sports. Yes, sir. That is a weird one. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. A lot wider. I'm gonna put this somewhere where like, you know, dirt won't get okay, all over. Sounds good. I really had no idea this was an overhead cam engine. 
You have any regrets, man? Dude, it just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Whoa, Destroyed. there goes that gasket. Never seen anything like that. Let me see if there's any... Timing indicators. Timing marks. Ah. That is there. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got a mark right there. We got a timing mark right there, a little dot. And then we got a painted mark right, right there at that gold link. Did some research on this engine, found out that it makes 8.8 .8 horsepower um, and 14 foot-pounds of torque at 4,000 RPM, but we're moving the governor, so it's gonna be a little higher than that. 8,000 RPM. That's right, 8,000 <laughs> 8, RPM. It's got these lines there too to line up with the, you see it? Nice, yeah. Yes. Should be able to pull this out. Should be able to take this chain loose. That is an interesting camshaft. It's It's got one lobe. All right. I mean, the, you know, just looking at it, I'm a little anxious because that's a huge scooper with a lot of weight hanging off there. She's thin. You know, the, the Predators only have this part of the scooper without this. Right. They this one's like a, ultra scoop. Yeah, it's a big old wing on there. That's, for that's like a snow scoop right there, man. Yeah. Let's get that thing up and out of the way. Look at that. Let's go turn this thing down, dude. Let's do it. Yeah. Turn it on and it doesn't wobble all over the place, man. We're good to go. Yep. shop time to uh, cut a keyway yep we don't have any fancy tools for this well we got two tools one two uh, I see where you went with that one uh, yeah all right so I'm gonna just grind a keyway in it can't go on all the way because of that nice job dude well Thanks. You got a steady hand. Except for all those spots that I kept coming out of the groove. Maybe I can uh, play with a drill. Which is kind of... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to work on removing that governor wheel. There's usually a little foot down there keeping the wheel on. Not the case in this engine. So I'm going to grab two screwdrivers and just try to pry it. And there it is. Bada bing, bada boom. So we're not gonna mess with that washer, it's not moving. 
Piece of cake, guys, piece of cake. While I'm here and while Ike is still busy with the keyway, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the surface so we can uh, get a nice seal with some silicone. How you doing over here? Oh, fine. I just used some, uh, I drilled a little bit. All right, whatever works. Yeah. I mean, it's right there. Yeah. It's probably good enough. It's oh, probably yeah. close enough. Just give her a little tap it a tap it a She's, she's in there. Just oiled it. Wonder what the torque specs are on this thing. Click. Click. See the gold link? Yep. Okay. That lines up right there with that white line. And that's it. Gold goes right there. That one's lined up. That one's lined up. Let's see if we can get the shaft back in. A little screwdriver. Man, an overhead cam engine. Yeah. Who would have figured? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna put this six and a half electric star on this yurf dog and be done in three hours. Yep, that's what I thought. Little did we know. It's not a six and a half. It's an adventure. It's a nine horse. It's always an adventure when you're with Isaac. Yeah, it's it it's hard to tell when it was underneath all that uh you know, it was it was with all the yeah. generator part and stuff. Yep. I didn't pay that much attention to it. Me either. So the uh, generator was cheap enough that I bought it. And uh, we're, we're probably gonna have like 50 bucks in this engine, I'm thinking. For a nine horse overhead valve, overhead cam engine. Yeah. Not bad. 420 is like 14 horsepower. 13. 13? Yep. 13 horsepower. And like 18 or 19 foot pounds of torque. All right, 18 to 19. You said this thing's got 14 foot pounds of torque? Yes, sir. Okay, so, I mean, we get in there. Yeah, I mean, like, it should outperform a 301, like, all day long. Like, on paper, anyway. Yeah. So. And the cool thing is, is this thing's got a charging system. Exactly. Yeah. Starter. Yep. Yeah. Let's goop it. Uh, I've got some transparent silicone. No. No. 9.54, what time is it? Time for me to go home. Yeah, it's... Probably. Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow. Night if we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's late. Well, so that's unfortunate. Same time tomorrow, bud. Well, after work. All right. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Okay.